What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we are having some fun with it. We are going to be using one of the most offensive bulk Pokemon in the game, Probo Pass. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to join the Jeans community. It really goes a long way. I want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. It's just getting me more excited for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I cannot wait to bring you guys content for that game. But with that out of the way, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with the one and only Probo Pass. Such a funny look of Pokemon, but cool all around. It is a rock and steel type, and we gave it the leftovers as its item because, like I said, it is defensive bulk. So this Pokemon is going to be kind of like a stall Pokemon, just trying to like make it so that nobody can kill this Pokemon. Makes sense? It'll probably make sense once I showcase the moveset for this guy, but ability for this Pokemon is going to be sturdy, so it cannot die in one shot. And then EVs for this Pokemon are going to be fully maxed out in HP and fully maxed out in defense. Like, look at this defense stat right there. 427 defense and look at its special defense too 336 with no evs in it this thing is crazy bulky cannot wait to use it and just showcase its bulk move set for this guy is going to be iron defense to boost our defense even more body press will be our only hitting move as it does damage based on our defense so if we can raise your defense high we can do a crazy amount of damage with that move then we got Substitute to just put up a nice little shield and make this pokemon survive longer and then we got protect for our fourth and final move Second Pokemon for today's team is going to be Tyranitar over here. Tyranitar works pretty well with Probo Pass because Probo Pass can get some work done in the Sand Stream. Plus, it does not take damage from that either. It's got Protect, it's got Dragon Dance, Crunch, and Rock Slide, Sand Stream as its ability, and then the item it is holding is going to be that Lumberry. Third Pokemon on today's team is going to be Raichu. Raichu is here for two reasons and two reasons only. It is here because it can set up, help our Pokemon set up, like our T Target set up Dragon Dance, our Probo Pass can set up. Uh, what is it? Iron Defense and all that good stuff, or even a, even a sub suit. But its second reason is here is because of its ability Lightning Rod. It's going to help protect the Gyarados on the team and just keep our Pokemon in here a lot longer. It's got the Focus Ash as its item. Ability is going to be Lightning Rod like we already mentioned. And then Moveset is going to be Fake Out. Nuzzle for Paralyzes, Volt Switch, and Brick Break to break screens. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is this lovely Gyarados. Gyarados is super, super strong, but dies to electric moves very easily. Hence the reason why we brought the Raichu on the team. This Gyarados has Waterfall, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance to set up, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Ability is going to be Intimidate, obviously, because that is its best ability. And then the item it is holding is going to be that Life Orb to make it do a lot more damage. Fifth Pokemon on today's team is another heavy physical attacker. We got Scissor over here with the Metal Coat, the Technician ability, and then the normal move set of Bullet Punch, X Scissor, Sword Stance, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be a little bit of a support Pokemon. It is going to be Arcanine over here. Arcanine has Flamethrower, it's got will o -Wisp to burn those physical attackers, it's got Snarl to drop special attack, and it's got Protect for its final move. Ability is going to be Intimidate to drop physical attack, and then the item it is holding is that Aqua Berry to make it get more HP when it falls below, I believe it's 1 4th. Yeah, it's definitely 1 4th. But there's a team for this Probo Pass squad, let's hop to the Coliseum, let's grab some wins with it. First match coming at you guys, and we got a tough opponent on our hands. This guy's rocking Scizor alongside an Intimidate him on top. Got Raikou on top of that, and then Garchomp, Suicune, and Illumise. Okay, really cool Pokemon. I do not really know what Illumise does, but kind of scared of it, not going to lie. But I'm going to lead Probo Pass here, try to get rocking with him alongside with the Raikou. I just feel like it's a solid lead. We can roll out pretty strong with them, so I'm going to go in with them too. Maybe try to set up an Iron Defense and get rolling out from there. I do like that a lot, but the Suicune is going to be a little bit of a problem. I don't I don't really like that Suicune. Not one bit. Not one bit. But in the back end, I definitely got to bring in the Pokemon like Gyarados, and I'm kind of leaning towards Arcanine, but I might go Scizor instead. Because Arcanine can counter up onto that, uh, that Scizor, but, but I just really like Scizor. Maybe our Scizor can outbeat his Scizor. He doesn't have any fire Pokemon too, so... I'm digging that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But yo, I just been keeping up with all the Scarlet and Violet content and all the announcements and it's getting me super, super excited. Like I'm talking to my buddy right now about Thrasilization and I'm like kind of like teaching him or not teaching him like uh, just uh, talking to him about how like how it works and all that. And it's just making me think like I feel like this competitive ranked battles are going to be the most versatile it has ever been because you can legit change any Pokemon into any typing. That is just endless and millions of different varieties you can put on team, which is absolutely amazing. It is absolutely amazing. So I'm really so far a big fan of the gimmick. I guess we'll see when it comes out how good it actually is. But this guy's going to end up leading Hitmon top alongside with, uh, alongside with Raikou. So, you know, I'm just going to with the iron defense i'm just gonna pick out the hit on top i think that's just a simple play you might swap the him on top which i don't really mind i mean it's not too big of a deal 
but I know that the Raikou has inner focus, so we can't fake him out. So I'm just gonna do that. He's gonna set up a reflect, and this is where I brick break. Brick break coming in hot. So I'm gonna break these screens. I'm gonna break these screens, but I'm gonna set up an iron defense here. And do I try to set up a sub, or do I just go after that? Uh, I might go after that uh, him on top here. Try to get rid of that Pokemon. But I'm plus two on defense. I'm just gonna straight up body press, and then I'm just going to brick break break the screens. I think that's to play 100%, but yo, Robo Pass, we getting after him with him. Like I said, defensive bulk Pokemon, nobody really used him too much, so it's definitely going to be fun to try to get some wins with it. It's going to end up snarling, that's totally fine. I do wish I was a bit uh, bulkier on special defense, but it's all good. He did get a crit there. But he's going to drop my special attack, that's no problem. I'm just using body press, I'm rolling out strong with that. Which I don't think body press is considered physical or... Physical or special. I don't really know, but we take off the reflect. And he's going to use a close combat, which he should be able to. Yeah, my boy Probo Pass soaking. This thing's defense is going to drop, which it don't really matter. And we're just going to go into this move. So I might just protect next turn and have my uh, health go up a little bit. But we'll see. Body press going to fly. Uh, I'll eat, send it. How much damage is that going to do? Yo, Probo Pass. Probo Pass with body press. Chill on him. My guy, dude. Chill on him. Chill on him. Leftover is going to poke here. Um, I think I protect and bolt switch out. Yeah, that might be my play. I mean, he might set up another screen. We might set up another screen, but he's gonna go into Suicune right here. Which Suicune is kind of scary, but yeah, this is the point where I uh, I protect and I roll into a Volt Switch here. I could start slowing him down, but uh, yeah, Volt Switch is gonna be my play. I think I just swap and try to get my fake out going again. But if I could bring out a Pokemon like Scizor here with a Proba Pass on the field, I feel like we can roll out pretty strong because then I can either set up a Sword Dance or get off of some big damage with a Body Press. But yo, Probo Pass getting after it. I'm just really glad we were able to drop a nice big body press. But I was definitely upset that he got off of close combat. But we were able to soak that. Super effective close combat. Was that four times super effective? Steel and Rock? It might be. Sometimes I'm, I mess up my typings. But still, yo, we were able to soak a big stab close combat. That was super effective. That's that's huge. That is huge. Like, how often does that happen? A super effective close combat that you can soak up. Only in Sword and Shield because of Dynamax. But Volt Switch is going to poke through here. Um, he did not set up a screen or anything, which is good. We broke it already. And he might do it next turn, but I'm going to swap into... Bum, 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 bum. Do I go Scissor or do I go Gyarados? Um, I think Scissor's our play. I mean, he has Raikou on the field. Scissor's definitely our play. Well, I am going to swap into this lovely little Scissor. And we're going to hope that a Scald's coming across to the Probo Pass slot. Yep, it is. Cool. This Scald's there. Um, I think we set up a Sword Stance here. I think we set up a sword stance, right? I mean, both these guys have inner focus, so I kind of want to see my Raichu for another turn. But I might just swap my Gyarados and set up a sword stance to kind of get rolled. That can be my play, or do I just want to get straight after a Pokemon? Suicune's kind of a problem. I'm going to go after a Suicune. While the Reflect's not up, I think we just uh, start poking after a Suicune. But I think he does go for another Skull to try to take out my Probo Pass, knowing that we can't protect again. I'm just going to hard swap here. Hard swap right into my Gyarados. Waste my my plus two, but still, yo, Probo Pass did some work already, which I love. Maybe you can get some value in the back end, which will be good. But Intimidate comes out here. Both these guys are special attackers, but more importantly, they both have inner focus. So Intimidate's not gonna drop, and you, no way you read that. Okay, you're gonna go into Thunderbolt there. I thought you were reading that. Skull's gonna fly over into Gyarados. We're able to soak pretty well here. We were able to eat up the Thunderbolt, which is really good, and I'm just gonna drop an X Scissor. Pop, do some big old damage, and then I might set up a Dragon Dance here, which I think I'm going to do. I think I am going to set up a Dragon Dance here, and then swap into the Raichu. Even though it's in our focus, I would love to get this boost here, because we do outspeed here too, which is really good. So I'm going to predict the Thunderbolt coming in hot. I'm just going to hard swap my into my Raichu, and then try to set up a Dragon Dance here. We playing some good swap game here. We are playing some good swap game, if this Thunderbolt is happening, because I would love to soak this up. He's going to go for a... Oh, you son of a biscuit. He reflects that turn. So we get out Raichu here, which ain't too bad. Gyarados is going to do a little D-dance action. And I think I just Brick Brick it now. That's actually, it's, it's actually fine that I brought out Raichu with the screens. You just Brick Brick it. You can go for a Scald into Raichu probably. And can you eat that? I love you, Raichu. I love you. I love you. And thank God he didn't get the burn. And now I'm Dragon Dance. I think I just poke into a Waterfall here, right? And then I just nuzzle because I de oh no I got brick break but I definitely want to stay on the field with Raichu right now just so we can't thunderbolt or anything just so we cannot thunderbolt 
But I'm just gonna waterfall here. And, oh, the reflect's still on the field because my speed boost. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. Hopefully the Raku is faster and he goes for Thunderbolt. Oh, he goes for Snarl. That's a smart play. Smart little Snarl. My Raichu isn't faster than that Raku. Kinda sucks because I don't break screens, but so that's not a bad turn. I am gonna be faster than this Raku, and I kind of prevented him from using. Oh, he roared. That's a smart roar. He throwing out here. Who's coming out here? Scissor. All right, Scissor gets out here. Uh, what do I do here? I mean, obviously I want to bullet punch the Raikou. But I feel like it's just a free... I mean, I could free sub. That would be a free sub. But I feel like it's a free Dragon Dance setup here, right? It's a great battle. I would love to break the Reflect. But I feel like this is just a free Dragon Dance setup, right? Bullet Punch... Ooh, bullet Punch is not going to take him out. That kind of hurts. Uh... Hmm. What do I go after? This is tough. I feel like I, I'm gonna go for. Ah, dude, this is a tough battle here. The Raikou and the Suicune really just do me dirty. I'm gonna Sword Dance you. And on top of that, I'm gonna Dragon Dance. I know we can go into Thunderbolt, but maybe he might think I'm protecting. And he still goes to that Thunderbolt. Yeah, we could have protected. I just thought maybe he would read that and go into my Scissor. And then if he did that, we would set up our Gyarados. We do get off this lovely Silver Sands. He's gonna Skull. We're gonna hope that no burns, but I think he's due for a burn, right? Okay, he doesn't get a burn. We get off a Sword Stance. We get off a Sword Stance here. Um, What's the play here? What is the play here? This, this battle is going to be way too close. <laughs> I definitely got a bullet punch into somebody. I'm going to hope that this bullet punch can KO this Raikou. What do we get for the Suicune? I feel like Raikou is kind of a bit of a problem here. Actually, let's do this. This is tough because I don't even think we can take out either of them. They have Reflect set up. I'm going to roll out like this. This is tough, yeah. Probably pass getting some work down battle number one, but the Raikou and Suicune just doing us dirty. And we don't get enough force out of that bull punch to take him out. And the berry triggers. The berry triggers! But yo, not a bad first battle, I'm not gonna lie. He just had two Pokemon that really countered us up. They really did. The Raikou and Suicune just countered us tremendously. The roars, everything about the typings, everything about both these Pokemon being out on the field just countered us up. But Probo Pass goes down there. We get to showcase a pretty well in battle number one. We just got hard pushed by that Raikou and Suicune. We're going to hop into the second battle and look for a first win. Second match coming at you guys. We're going up against the same opponent, but this time he switched up teams. So it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to feel like a brand new battle, but this guy's rocking Scizor. That dreaded Raikou again. Then he's got Ludicolo, who he might bring or he might not. It has Fake Out, but it also probably has Swift Swim. So I don't see any Rain Setters. But he also has Entei in this battle, Inner Focus, Umbreon, and then last but not least, he's got to Intimidate him on top, and Entei. Okay, um, hmm. I don't really want to go on the Proba Pass again. I just don't feel like that's the play. I feel like maybe, like, the Arcanine's the play, just for, like, Intimidate, Snarls, all that good stuff, and maybe Burns on Physical Attackers early on in the match. I kind of dig that, but I feel like he leads, like, either Hitmon top alongside with... Hmm. I feel like he's got to lead him on top alongside with either Entei or Raikou, right? It just makes the most sense. So, with that going on, do I bring the Raichu and lead the Raichu? I mean, we do have Lightning Rod. We can break screens. Uh, I kind of like the Raichu here. kind of do like the Raichu. I might go Raichu Gyarados, or should I go Raichu T-Tar? I mean, Intimidate's going to come in here, and I'm not going to be a fan, but still. If I could set up maybe a Dragon Dance here, that'd be good. I'm going to bring Scissor in the back end, and then last but not least... I gotta go Gyarados, right? I gotta get Gyarados flying here. So we're not gonna bring the Probo Pass. We're not gonna bring the Arcanine in this battle. It's all good. We'll definitely try to rock out with the Probo Pass in the third battle. But we got the showcase a pretty well in battle number one. Drop a nice big body press. But he goes in with the exact lead that I thought he would go into. And I kind of had 10 seconds left, so I didn't want to force. Or I didn't want to, uh, like, I had to pick up Pokemon. So I just went to T-Tar even though he's going to intimidate it. That's fine. I mean, fake out here into the Dragon Dance prior play. Um, I could also nuzzle that Pokemon first turn if I want to. Do I just nuzzle here instead and maybe I D-dance? But dude, if he goes to a close combat, we die. 
we die if that happens. So I'm just gonna go into the D dance here. I'm just gonna fake out and D dance. I feel like it's a free D dance. I feel like he sets up maybe the reflect here. And we kind of go from there. Hmm, this one's kind of tough, but he ends up withdrawing. Oh, he withdraws you. That's fine. And who are you gonna go into? We go into Ludi Colo. Colo full of Ludis. So we do that. And then I get off a free D dance. Okay, that ain't bad. Um, I feel like from this play, we just go into maybe a protect here. We could protect my T-Tar and then go into a Nuzzle onto the Ludicolo slot. Or I could Volt Switch out and pivot into Gyarados or even Scizor wouldn't be bad. I think I might Volt Switch pivot. I'm thinking of just protecting Volt Switch pivoting. I mean, again, Nuzzle would be good. So I might, you know, I'm going to stay in here. I'm going to Nuzzle. I'm just going to protect you for this turn. I'm just going to start trying to set up some Paralyze here. So maybe he'll read this Protect, but I think a close combat or like a Skull. Something's coming into here. Fake out. Some, oh, fake out. And maybe we might get the double on here. It should be beautiful. We might get the double. The fake out comes into the T-Tar. That could be big for us. It's close combat also do. Oh, a little double down action. We adore it. We love it. Um, do I let my T-Tar go down here? What do I save? I feel like the smart play would just be nuzzle up onto that, uh... I think the smart play would just be set up a nuzzle, right? Nuzzle up into that, uh... uh that hit my top, slow him down, and maybe swap the T-Tar and save him for later. He's only plus one on speed. Yeah, I feel like nuzzling here and maybe just swapping into a Gyarados. Could be a good play. We also Bolt Switch back into T-Tar. Nah, I'm just gonna hard swap into Gyarados. Get off that Intimidate. It'd be big on to the hit my top. I really do like that turn. I don't mind it one bit. I don't mind it. So we're setting up some nice speed control with the nuzzles, but this battle can be close. Nuzzles are super, super, like, really good. So Intimidate's gonna fly here. Only one physical attacker on the field. I mean, Ludicolo can be a physical attacker, but most of them are special. But we're gonna Intimidate drop onto that lovely little uh, hit my top. And on top of that, we are going to Nuzzle. Setting up two Paralyzes. That's why I love Raichu. Good old speed control with it. It's really, really good. Hopefully one of these guys can't move, but he's going to end up going for close combat, which we absolutely soak. He's going to drop his defense really, really low. And I feel like this is just a free Dragon Dance setup at this turn, right? It really depends what Ludicolo is rocking with. Maybe he'll be paralyzed this turn. Oh, lovely. Yeah, it's a free Dragon Dance uh, setup. I am going to Volt Switch out. I'm kind of just going to go from there. So I'm going to Dragon Dance and probably Volt Switch into that uh, in my top slot. I mean, we know he has Raikou, but Volt Switch is Volt Switch and but yeah, it's, it's D-Dance time. It's D-Dance time all day. The Volt switch out, get off a nice little D-Dance, and then go into probably... Probably T-Tar here. I think I'm looking at a bit more, so I'm going to do that. D-Dance up, baby. He doesn't have Reflex or anything set up, and I think he might swap to him on top, right? I can definitely see it happening. Yep, going into Raikou. Or are you showing your final Pokemon? Please don't be Garchomp. Or does he even have Garchomp? No, he goes into Raikou. Who does he have? Yes, Scizor. Mm, I can't even remember. I know it's, I know Scizor, so Scizor's definitely a possibility. But we both switch out. I figured he would swap into Raikou regardless, and we're just going to roll off from there. So I'm just going to bring in Titar. I mean, he's probably going to swap back into him on top. So, hmm. Let's see what he does here. He then's going to pop out here. And Ludic. Oh, that might have been a bad swap. We might have. Maybe should have swapped into a different Pokemon. But it's all good. Maybe he'll be paralyzed again. Oh, he is, dude. He is paralyzed again. <laughs> Dude's not having it. Yo, paralyzed can do people dirty. They can definitely do people dirty. But I'm D-Dance set up. I think that this uh, waterfall can take out the Raikou. I'm just going to hit up on that slot. And then on top of that, I am just going to... I really want to D-Dance again, but I feel like I just started popping attacks. I feel like we just rock slide here. We can get a flinch chance. So on top of that, we'll have flinch chance and paralyzed chance onto the Ludicolo be beautiful and then we just waterfall down into this slot i mean he can set up a reflect which would be a good play and he just protects okay i'm cool with that that's kind of fine as long as this looty cold gets a nice little flinch or paralyze we'll be sitting pretty we shall be sitting pretty but nice little protect from him rock slide is going to fly can you please land on top of this looty cold's head thank you very much and how much damage are we doing not a bad chunk of damage so we get flinch chance we got paralyzed chance and he leech seeds me yo what are you doing do I swap? 
Huh. I might swap. I might swap. I might actually I don't think I should swap. I think I should just stay in here with this rack. I mean we have speed. If I hit this thing with a waterfall, he's dead. God dang leech seed. Can't stand it. Can't stand it. Um I'm gonna D dance here. It's a free D dance chance. It's a free D dance chance. He's gonna withdraw the Raikou. He's gonna go back into his Intimidate. I'm gonna go back even on Attack Board Regardless. I'm gonna go minus one on T Tar. And then I'm just going to pop a nice, lovely Dragon Dance. But yeah, Lychee, we might have to swap here. He might go for another Lychee. Oh, God. That could get real ugly real quick. But Waterfall's gonna fly here. Do some nice damage, solid damage. We like that damage. And please don't go for another Lychee. And this thing has a berry. Mm, I don't like this guy. I don't like this opponent. He's playing really well. It's just all of his thing is going with all synergy here. I'm going to D-Dance up. D-Dance. Please do not lead-seed me. That's all I ask for. I'd rather you go for like a Scald or something. Get a burn on me. Something like that. I hate this guy. <laughs> this guy sucks, man. Can't say he's going to protect next turn. We see that from 65,453 miles away. But I have to attack this thing. Mmm. Mmm. Not a fan of this game. Um, who do you think he fakes out? It's a real question. Oh, because I'm swapping to Gary this year. I am swapping to Gary. I am going to go for a rock slide. Or do I just go for a crunch? Ah, I don't like this game. I'm going to swap Gary into Raichu here. I mean, both these guys are paralyzed, which is good. I swap Gary. Get that lead seat off me. I'm not dealing with it. I'm going to the right here. Oh, Paralyzer happening. He's going to withdraw Ludicolo. Okay. And who's he swapping into? Raikou's coming in here for HP recovery. That's fine. He's going to fake out. Yep, that slot. That's fine. And I'm just going to be able to drop a nice, beautiful rock slide. Get off some nice damage. And that did a nice chunk into the Raikou slot, which I really, really like. So if I had to guess, Raikou is probably going to protect here. I mean, I just drop a free Rock Slide, right? Rock Slide would kill it. Oh, wow. You got a lot of HP back. But yeah, this is just a free Rock Slide into a free Fake Out. But I feel like he might swap. I'm still just going to Fake him out anyway. Because who could he swap into? Ludicolo again. That's fine. Yep, yeah, there's a swap from him. I should have just Volt Switched. I should have just made the hard read. That was just like a just-in-case effort. But that thing's still paralyzed. The other one's still paralyzed. And there's a Protect coming out from him. Um... Hmm. Hey, God's popping. I could D dance there. That should have been my play. I should have just D dance, but Rockside's still gonna do a nice little chunk of damage over onto the Lily Cole, which I, which I like. Actually, no, it's not. It's really not going to do much. Actually, it didn't do too bad. Leftover's coming in hot. Um, I think we can swap T Tar here. Or I can Volt Switch Pivot. Kind of lean towards the Volt Switch Pivot. Maybe swap two Pokemon. That thing's just so annoying. That thing is so annoying. But <laughs> I'm definitely going into Rock Side here. And I'm going to pivot you. We go after Ludicolo. I think Ludicolo is a pain here. If you can keep setting up Leech Seeds and just swapping the slots and everything. But I still have my lovely Scissor here. But who are you withdrawing here? You're going to withdraw the Raikou? That's that's fine. You're going back into him on top. Dude's annoying me, man. I can't, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Can this rock slide please KO? I don't think it can. I don't think it can. Bolt switch coming in hot. Uh, I'll send it. Not bad damage though. We might be able to take out Ludicolo here. Both these guys are paralyzed, which could be big. And do I intimidate him? Or do I just roll right in the scissor? I think we roll right in the scissor. Actually, I think we should save our scissor. I don't know. Let's go into Gary here. It's going to Gary. I'll hard swap into Raichu next turn, just so T-Tar can get his stats back. But T-Tar, can you please land this rock slide? I need you here, buddy. I do. This, these are some good battles for you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the BDSP content. Rock slide does connect. And we don't pick up the KO. That hurts the soul, man. That one definitely hurts the soul. He's going to go for the lead seed and Gary's dodge. It's a big time dodge, Gary. It's a big time dodge, Gary. Okay, so he can fake me out. I might just go straight onto the attack player. I hate lead seed, dude. Who do we think he fakes out? 
I mean, we're definitely swap. We have to swap you. Now's the time to swap you. It's gonna rush you. I'm just gonna Dragon Dance. I'm going for it. This game sucks, man. <laughs> Hopefully, get some paralyzed. This is <laughs> this battle's wild. Get some paralyzed out here. Mm. I like how the Pokemon when they're paralyzed, they move a lot slower. Like, look at Hit my Tot Strut. Like, real slow. <laughs> I'm gonna withdraw, I'm gonna swap into the Raichu, but yo, this battle's phenomenal. Really good battle. I'm gonna go for a wide guard. I think we're going for a rock side. Cool. I'm all about it. What are you going for with Ludicolo? Be paralyzed here? Be RD dancing. He's going for like a leech seed or something. Now we got a lot of power here. Unless he takes me out. Please be paralyzed here or dodge his leech seed. He's gonna connect to leech seed. The leech seed connects. Um, he's gonna protect Ludicolo here all day. Might even be a double protect. Uh, ch 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 trying to think of ways we can actually go around this. But uh, hmm. I know we can eat up another leech seed here. Good for us. He's gonna get some mean HP back. Did he just swap and hit my top? No, he my guard it. Uh. If he doesn't protect, I'd rather bolt switch into this thing. And then from here, I'm just gonna drop a waterfall. My best bet. What's he gonna go into? Protect from Ludicolo. Yeah, I saw that from a while. From a mile away. And then, does he have protect on you too? Sucker punch? Okay, we eat, but we're gonna go down to uh, lychee damage. Sucker punch. That sucks, man. So actually, Life Orb takes us out. I don't think Elite Seed is in that slot anymore because that Pokemon died. And now we can go into... <laughs> Titar here? I think Titar might be our play. Dude, this thing's annoying me, man. Yeah, Titar's gotta be our play. We're gonna go into Titar at this point. Save our Scissor for the 1v1. Because I know he's not, he's not a Pokemon. This battle is insane. It's insane, but... Definitely gotta drop a Rock Slide here. Rock Slide will KO the Ludicolo. I don't think Raikou has anything to KO us, but I am going to... Do I Volt Switch or do I just Brick Break? I think I Brick Break in case he wants to set up a screen. I'm just gonna Rock Slide. Or I could D-Dance here. D-Dance would be a free turn, but... Nah, I gotta Rock Slide to take out this Ludicolo. This, this is our chance to take out the Ludicolo. We gotta get after him. There's a Reflect. Nice read from us. We're gonna Brick Break this out here. I'm gonna say, see you later. Bang. Get that thing on out of here, and then Rock Slide can Rock Slide connect on both. Let's go, T-Tar. Let's go, T-Tar. All day, baby. Yo, let's go. What a battle from us. We played that one. This might have been, like, my best Pokemon battle. Our opponent was playing amazing. We were playing amazing. We made some good swaps, some good calls. That Reflect read was insane. And we're going to end up winning because of that. Wow, what a battle. But if that Reflect was still up, that Ludicolo could survive bunch of more turns but now he rolls into Entei and I'm fine with just nuzzling that slowing that down and dropping some more rocks on his head and actually yo Scizor would not have won this 1v1 <laughs> Scizor would have got dumped on Scizor would have got dumped on breaks my heart to say it but man call this thing is Lumberry so he's gonna Lumberry that paralyze off T-Tar can you saw out speed go for a sacred fire we dodge anyway we said hey yo we dodge that rock side's gonna connect is that GG it is not GG, but Buffets from the T-Tar are going to take it out unless they end. No, they did not end. We're going to say bye-bye to Entei. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and one for today's video. What a second battle. So, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I just spent an hour and a half. Well, not an hour and a half. About an hour and 20 minutes waiting for an opponent in BDSP. And I simply cannot find one right now. So, I got to call the video right here. We went one and one for today's video. Could not find a third and final battle. But at least the first two battles were lengthy enough to draw out this video to about 25 to 30 minutes. So, hopefully, you guys still did enjoy. But, guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.